Having heard the decision made by the the marshal in relation to a no case to answer, I, I thought it was important and prudent for me to go to my constituent to explain the process to her, what it means. I also explained to her that given the fact that the court would have ruled there's no case to answer, that the DPP's office can appeal that decision. Without being prejudiced and or biased, I explained to her the possible dilemma that it might, it, she, she might have been placed in given the fact that she had sued the attorney general in a civic, a civil capacity. So that, that, is, that, that is the dilemma, a uh, contradiction or the, iron, the irony of it all is that the DPP will have to appeal the marshal's decision indicating that they are dissatisfied with the order made by the marshal's court. But then the complainant in this instance, the, the estate of, of the deceased has sued the Crown in a civil capacity. So it, it, is an interesting, it is an interesting place to be in relation to the law and the outcome and justice to be seen for Miss Knight. I sought to offer my sympathies, etc. And to explain to her, do not let her get her down, that there's a process of law that has to be that can be undertaken. That ought, that if it is so desired to be undertaken, but it is out of the of her hands. And that is left to the authorities. No, sir, it's a mess the process because it's a preliminary inquiry. Right. right. Because remember, before the abolition of, of the preliminary inquiries, there was a, a two-stage process. That is a PI, a preliminary inquiry. And then if the marshal is satisfied that a prima facie case has been made out, then that will be committed to the High Court. So that the, the, the marshal has ruled that based on the evidence adduced in the marshal's court, that there was not a prima facie case made out for it, to, for it to be warranted to be committed to the High Court. And that is the decision that she has made. But that is always, that is always an appealable decision. Can I ask another question? Yes, you can, sir. a lawyer. Yes. Was this because of a lack of... Evidence? I, 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 I can answer that. The, uh, it is the evidence produced in the Marshall's Court that the prosecution evidence has not reached the threshold for a determination relative to a prima facie case. So if the evidence produced has, has not satisfied the lower court, a court is empowered and has the jurisdiction to so make a decision. And that decision is based on the evidence adduced and produced in the Marshall's Court. That the threshold has not been reached for a prima facie case. So it means then, then if based on that, the marshal rule that there's no, it does not warrant it being sent to be tried by a judge and jury. Okay. But as I said, that is always reviewable, that an appeals lies in the hands, in the bosom of the DPP. I look at, at the evidence and make it determine whether or not they agree with the marshal. If they do not agree, then they can always appeal the decision, which then would, which then would take it to, to the court of appeal to be heard. But he said it, it also it puts it puts Miss Knight in a, in a very delicate position because it is out of her hands, and the court has made a ruling as it relates to a criminal matter, not a civil. Right. So the question the, the question in law obviously is the impact that a decision made in relation to a criminal matter, the impact that it will make in relation to the civil matter that has been filed against the the attorney general, etc., in relation to the said matter. So, so on one hand, the DP, the DPP might be asked to intervene, and on the other hand, a case has been really made against the attorney general in their civil capacity. That is, that the that the officer was negligent, etc., and did not exercise sufficient due care and attention in relation to that. So then, as I said, it is an interesting matter, and as the representative of the constituent, I await no, I await the decision because obviously. Yeah, that there's a time frame in which to, to, to lodge an appeal in the, in the criminal matter. Right, so then the question is, the question obviously, the question that would be asked obviously, um, a marshal having made a decision in a criminal matter, the impact the, or the likelihood of an outcome in a civil capacity in relation to the, the same party. Right, even though, even though in, 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 in the civil jurisdiction, even though in the civil jurisdiction, the, <clears throat> as it relates to the, the proof, the balance is on the balance of probabilities, and that as it relates to a criminal trial, which is proof beyond reasonable extent. So there, there, there's, there, there are different dynamics that take place in relation to civil and criminal jurisdiction. Yes.